so welcome the guys to my channel welcome 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 and welcome to the first video in the 2022 i know i've been away for a long time but it's time to come back and today we're gonna be reviewing the latest the newest mini crush palette from natasha denona Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Another gift from Natasha Denola. Limited edition, gorgeous, baby, mini palette. So, it should have arrived a few days ago, but it arrived today, and this is how it came. It came with the brush, and I already did the look with it, if you can see. So, here we go. Latest mini crush edition. So, mini crush palette consists of five mini eye shadows and it was specifically made for valentine's day as a limited edition and we're gonna be comparing it with the last year valentine's edition which is called mini love both of them inspired by big love palette which came out two years ago i don't have the palette it just was too pinkish for me although i have a few pink palettes but that one I didn't purchase and therefore today we're gonna to be swatching and reviewing how everything looks and what everything does so later we're gonna see the how this look was done but before I'm gonna be doing the swatches from the previous palette first we're gonna be swatching the mini crush palette here and underneath we're gonna be swatching their mini love palette from last year so let's go ahead and swatch starting from Daisy. Daisy is this beautiful bubble pink shade. Swatch is quite good, very bright, gorgeous color. So the next shade that we're swatching would be matte pink nude. That's called Lotus. Here we go. This is Lotus. Very nudish pink. I would say kind of mauvey shade. Next one we have is Koi, which is brand new shade that wasn't anywhere before. It's a brand new shade that Natasha introduced in this palette. how it swatches I cannot say it's a hard shade to nail but I guess you have to try this is it this is koi the next one would be soul which is mud medium rosy coral and I have to say spoiler alert it's quite coral it says coral and it is coral beautiful beautiful shade as well and the last one and my favorite is this beautiful claret metallic scarlet red just so beautiful so creamy look at this guys whoa definitely the most beautiful shade in this palette so we have bubblegum paint, which is daisy. Then we have lotus, matte new pink. Then we have a burgundy shade, koi, which is brand new. Then we have soul, which is metallic rosy color. And gorgeous, gorgeous metallic scarlet red, which is called claret. First, it can be found in other palettes. So daisy can be found in cranberry palette. Lotus can be found in Safari palette. Koi is brand new, like I said before. So in Midi Love palette, Red can be found in Metropolis. Let's compare it to the last year. The first one is a duochrome, I think it's you. And if you look here, I think the most, it looks actually like Daisy. So we're gonna swatch it on the top of Daisy. No, actually on the bottom of Daisy. So this is you from last year and you can clearly see it's draw from and it's beautiful. Wow. The next shade we have is R, which is again 
supposed to be reminding us of Lotus, which is again much darker than Lotus. Then we have another Mai, which is again, I think, kind of aubergine shade, which we're going to compare to this year Koi and see exactly what is the difference in this one. So Koi definitely slightly more burgundy, I would say. Slightly more burgundy compared to last year. Then we have True, which is doesn't like anything like I like anything from this year palette. But because we're switching it here, it's a beautiful color. Which called True. Nothing like this in this year palette. And the last one is Love, which is very, I would say, similar to Claret, but not at all. Completely different shade of metallic. You see, this one is like a very red and this is called scarlet light and this is a bit more pinkish so this shade nothing seems to be alike those shades are quite similar but not the same i still feel they're quite different then this year the very nude beautiful pink and of course daisy the called bubblegum pink which maybe bubblegum but not so much and last year we got this beautiful gorgeous doe chrome so Similar idea, different shades. Even though they like a lot, they're kind of different, guys. I would have to say they're quite different palettes. The new My Crush is on the top and Mini Love is at the bottom. But both palettes are gorgeous and this year I love it as much as I love the one from last year. So, if you would like to know more about this look, and a little bit more about the palette. Just go ahead and keep watching. So, mini crush. Again, that's how it looks. It mini crush. It's the Valentine's edition of this year, 2022. And this one is mini love palette from last year. So, mini crush, mini crush this year, and mini love is under from last year. So last year we can say definitely was slightly cooler and a bit possibility to go darker so let's go ahead and see how it's going to go this year it's a limited edition mini eyeshadow palette based on midi size love palette again the shades of this palette purple pinks rich burgundy and fiery red so i guess we're talking about this one that melt together in perfect harmony this seductive palette can be used for playful bold creations or effortless wearable everyday looks made with the highest quality pure color pigments, dazzling chroma crystals and luminous mineral pearls for maximum color payoff with minimal effort. So what does it do? It provides maximum color payoff with minimum effort, blending seamlessly to achieve ultra pigmented long lasting looks. Uh, it compact size is perfect for traveling and allows you to complete a whole look on the go. So what do we have in here? We're gonna start. It starts with Daisy, sparkling bubblegum pink, then it goes to mud pink nude, then it's mud medium dark cool burgundy, and of course mud medium rosy coral and metallic scarlet red. I think I'm really loving the red one. I think this year we're gonna go for a little bit red, so I, I think it's a gorgeous palette. And this is from Fenty Beauty as the eyeshadow primer. The priming of the eyes is finished, by the way. It's a little rosy as usual, but... Okay, let's go ahead. I'm gonna start as the base for matte pink nude lattice shape with actual brush that was attached to the palette which it came in so tiny i don't know why after all the big palettes after circle especially it looks so tiny that's how it looks on the brush nude pink 
don't say. I love the brush. Maybe not so much. It's a bit, I think, big, probably, for these eyeshadows. And with a Fenty primer, it doesn't really work well. You can see it's patching a little bit. It doesn't work with a Muji Pink primer. It's made my life much harder. So I think Muji Pink is kinder and now a little fella. Oh, for a long time, I've been feeling like this primer just not good. If you used to be better and now it's totally not great. I think I'm gonna try to use maybe the same brush just for the sake of it because it's uh, interesting. It's already attached and apparently supposed to be seamless and easy so let's go ahead and see if it's seamless and easy. Oh my god, <laughs> now my eyeshadow is much as my rosacea. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know if my eyeshadows are truly pink or just from the repetitive doing this okay the base is nude rosy pink nude it's pink i would go for more rosy than nude but yeah okay we set the base which is actually a gorgeous color let's go ahead and darken with new shade which is called koi Lovely, 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 colors I love it definitely it's very different from what was last year definitely you can layer it and layer it multiple you can build it up. Build it kind of like this, a bit long. Here, a bit up. Make it match. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead with the same brush and with the shade. Soul, which is a coral, a rosy coral, and I'm gonna go ahead a little bit on the top here. Yeah, close eyes. And I'm gonna go inside of the crease. So it's definitely coral. The first impression I like the palette, it swatches perfectly. It's just this freaky primer. But let, okay, let's forget we're already using it. So next one that I want to use is this gorgeous claret, which is metallic scarlet red. I think I'm just in love with this color. It's totally beautiful, gorgeous color. I'm gonna put it on the top. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Just look at this beautiful red. Gorgeous, just such a beautiful red. Oh my god, I love it. I 
And let's go ahead with the beautiful Daisy Sparkling Bubblegum Pink. On the inner corner, on the lower lash line, no, on the inner corner. Ooh, so, so pretty. Daisy. Oh, this brush is not good for it. This brush is certainly not good for it, but I wanted to use it as a blending brush as well, so. Let's go ahead and use the inner corner and as a blending brush. Blending all of it together. Use this gorgeous sparkle. I'm gonna try to use the finger just to see how it's gonna look like. It's definitely bright. I like it a lot. So Daisy shade has a little bit of the fallout. I want to be done with the face, so you can actually see the less of rosacea and more of the eyeshadows. I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's very, <laughs> very long tiny. I would say it's definitely very long tiny. Let's go ahead and. Give the mascara I'm gonna be doing today the green me keep on mascara. I really like the brush. Mascara is done. Let's now do the face so we can have the whole look. So guys, we did the foundation now and we're gonna be finishing the face with this gorgeous, the latest Natasha Denona Glam face palette. I think it's beautiful. Compared to a lot of other every palettes, I think it's pretty light and just beautiful. So we're gonna use the cream blush and the star glow. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. The cream blush from Glam face palette. The bronzer I'm gonna use from her tan palette. And the highlighter I'm gonna use from her glam palette because it's gorgeous. It's gonna be separate of you coming through that one too. This one is just so beautiful. Look at this glow, guys. Just look at this glow. Gorgeous or what? Look at this. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know if there's any more beautiful highlighter than this one from Natasha Denona. You just have to buy this palette just for this highlighter. It's gorgeous. This highlighter is <laughs> to die for. It has such a gorgeous that effect. I love it so much. Is it reflective or what? It's a killer. One of the best. Truly amazing, magnificent highlighter. It's my favorite from Natasha Denona. Lamp palette. Just for this, you have to buy this palette. Just because of this highlighter. Insane. Well, let me finish the brows. Do the lips. I don't know, like, I love Amorosa. I always loved it, but I'm not sure if it's a great match for this specific eye look. Let's remember how it looks. Yeah, cool nude. Let's do it. I would love it with this look to have a red lip, but I don't have Natasha Denona red lipstick. The eyebrows, I'm gonna be doing my Usual Fenty in the shade Ash Brown. So the brows are done, and I just remembered something. Today I want to use the latest Huda Beauty. Huda Beauty liquid. Uh, liquid lipsticks, the one that she renovated. I have those 
And I think I'm gonna be going to maybe Bombshell. Yeah, with Bombshell. Definitely Bombshell. And you can check the review for this liquid lipsticks in a separate video. I'm gonna be using a muted pink for a renovated lip contour 2.0 in Muted Pink. Muted Pink Lip Contour 2.0 from Huda Beauty and Bombshell. Latest liquid lipstick. It's a very nice chocolatey taste. This is bombshell. This is weird. I didn't expect it to be this color. Because I think online she said that it goes really well with muted pink. And so far, I don't know. Finished look. No powder. Just glam face palette. The latest mini crush palette on the eyes. The latest Huda Beauty. Bomb shell renovated, reformulated liquid lipstick. And this is the final look. We are ready to celebrate Valentine's Day. So, guys, we got this beautiful, beautiful look. And I'm so pleased to say that I'm really happy with this palette window. I missed the primer thing. I still totally love my look. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's totally beautiful. I think it's just wonderful. I love the way I did my eyes. I love this new palette works. The mini crush is just such a beautiful mini crush of mine this year, the beginning of the year, and already such a gorgeous palette from Natasha Denona. She did a great job as usual. Just beautiful, brilliant, gorgeous palette. As for application, of course, Koi, I had a little bit of issues with Koi. I still think you can work it out, and I'm sure with better primer, it would be working a bit better. As well, my personal favorite is Scarlet Red. It's such a beautiful color. Clarinet is my favorite one, and I'm just going to be doing a few moves just with those colors. I think the next look you can watch I will be doing for you is probably something in the pink area. Something in the pink more oriented and one is more red oriented, but we're gonna keep it for the next time. But this time, uh, this first impression, I used all five colors. You know, you can barely even see them, but it's all there. So what I have to say, love this palette. I think it's totally worth it, except the price range. It's the new thing that she added the brush like in the metropolis one but the price became more expensive here in spain it's 29.99 which is like 30 euros which makes no sense i didn't want this brush i have plenty of brushes but okay it's added so at least keep it at the same price as the other mini palettes but she didn't so this is kind of upsetting me i think it should be the same as other mini palettes because it's a gift set or something and basically the the brush supposed to be a gift But at the same time, she's charging like another six euros for it, for their tiny brush, which I don't think is even that great. It's good, but not fantastic. But as for the rest, I love this palette. I think it's beautiful, it's gorgeous. As usual, works fantastic. Natasha Denone did another great job with mini, with mini crush palette. And I think, I truly totally think it's beautiful. So let's go ahead and buy it. But of course, if you have four other palettes, Koi is totally not worth 30 euros. Totally not. On Natasha's website, it's 25. So if you wanna, if you have all the other palettes and you just wanna pay for the Koi, it's not worth it. It's not that great of a matte shadow to start with. As for the rest, if you don't have Metropolis, if you don't have Cranberry, if you don't have Midi Love or Safari, then go ahead and just buy it. Gorgeous palette. Again, 
Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And everyone, have a great day. Bye. Bye. -bye.